Can we create the perfect hockey team to go 82-0 in NHL 20's franchise mode? How's it going boys? Johnny Superb Man here, and in today's video I am going to attempt to create the greatest hockey team to ever hit the ice. Using only the simulation engine, we are going to attempt to go 82-0, alright? A huge challenge here. So I gotta do it right. First up, we are using the most recent roster update given to us by EA Sports. I've also decided to take out the crappy Toronto Maple Leafs and insert the all-time all-stars as the team that we are going to use. All right, so I got myself the best of the best. Wayne Gretzky leading these guys. No excuses. Uh, we have all of the options for GM mode off, like owner mode, um, salary cap, computer trades, and also injuries, autosave, all that's off. 20-minute period, superstar. I don't want the computers making any trades, and I don't want any injuries. This is just about can you create the team to go 82 and 0. Now, here we go. Year number one, I will show you guys what the lineups look like. This is just a basic lineup with the default rosters. Head coach can help. I don't care about that. I'm not going to try to arrange these lines, but look at this. Mario Lemieux, Wayne Gretzky, Gordy Howe, Luke Robitaille, Mark Messier, Brett Hall, Timu Solani, Marcel Dion, Yaramir Yager, and not the old Yager as well, 27 years of age, 93 overall, uh, Jean Beliveau, Steve Iserman, and Peter Forsberg, that third line, not liking each other, <laughs> the chemistry is not there, on the point, Nick Lidstrom, Ray Bork, uh, Larry Robinson, and Paul Coffey, Chris Pronger, and Dennis Potvin, so a pretty good team here, I think you guys would agree, Patrick Waugh, and Jacques Plante in the nets, uh, 90s everywhere, up and down. So what this represents is the greatest team that you could ever construct in NHL 20's franchise mode. Even if you were somehow capable of acquiring all the 90 overall players that I have on the forward core and on the blue line and between the posts, I mean between the pipes, the salary cap is going to get in your way. Even if you turn off the salary cap, acquiring all these 90 overall players, I mean that's going to be a challenge in itself. So like I said, this represents the greatest team that you could ever realistically realistically create all right so we're gonna go into calendar like i said all of the settings are exactly where they need to be we are going to start the simulation uh we're gonna see how far we can get with this record you know in fact we'll probably just go to the all the way to the end of the season even if i lose one or two um early i want to see what the final record is at the year or at the end of year number one so we're not going to count preseason at all but um this is the best that we could possibly make it. I was thinking about constructing a team using NHL players, but uh, the all-time greats, I mean, woo, those overalls are way up there. So a loss in preseason of Florida, don't worry about that, it's only preseason. And here we go, year number one, we start off the right way with an 8-1 victory over the Ottawa Senators. 4-1, and there it is, there it is right there. A 6-5 to shootout loss to the Montreal Canadiens, way to go, the original six, they know how to score. Oh my god, oh my god. So, creating a top tier team is not going to result in a perfect season in the NHL. Let me just view the lines of the Montreal Canadiens. I want to see I want to see the team that beat the All-Stars here, the old-timers. Uh, Montreal putting on the ice Jonathan Drouin, Domi and Gallagher. So, our first line I'd say uh, covers their first line. Second line, Thomas Tatar, Dano, Byron. Yeah, I'd say the second line covers their second line. Lekkanen, Kotkaniemi, uh, Armia, uh, and Hudon, Paling, and Suzuki. All right, so not great. And defensively, not great. But they did have Carey Price in the net. And that's one of the weird things about hockey, you know. Uh, a hot goaltender can ruin your entire night. So I'm not saying that this is unrealistic at all. Um, I'm just trying to make the point that creating the perfect team, phew, I don't know if it's possible in an NHL hockey game. So what we're going to do now is I want to simulate to the end of the season. I just want to see what our final record looks like. And uh, maybe we can uh, try to make some adjustments from there, right? So let's do some power of video editing. I will fast forward it so that you guys don't think I've uh, clipped it up. <laughs> exited, saved it, and reloaded the file. No, 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 no. Not doing that. No time for that. All right, so power of video editing. 
Okay, so the end of the season and a very respectable record. 63, 15, and 4. But uh, I could have sworn that I've gotten a team that I've built myself in previous seasons up to a 60 win mark, 62 win mark, 63. I think I've gotten there before. So, you know, you'd expect the team to do a little bit better. But at the same time, hockey, it's a, it's a weird sport. Now, before we get into this, let's take a look at some of these stats. Mario Lemieux went off. Oh, my God. 111 points. Playing alongside a Wayne Gretzky, I guess so. Woo! So Lemieux, Gretzky, and how? Look at the plus minus. It's plus 89 for Mario Lemieux. <laughs> oh, my God. So the fact that this team, I mean, Yarmir Yager, I guess the line chemistry for the third line wasn't clicking. They might have been the reason that we were losing some games. Defensemen, oh, yeah, they all went off. Look, they're all plus players. Unbelievable. And goaltenders, Man, <laughs> shock plot an 8.75 save percentage. The game's got to find something for them. All right, so let's talk about this more. But I'd like to show you the point that I want to make by giving you an example in a different game. So let's jump over there. So here we are in NBA 2K20, and I've done the exact same things. We are the Toronto Raptors, and look at this sweet group that we have. We've got Steph Curry, Michael Jordan, Larry Bird, Tim Duncan, Shaquille O'Neal as our starting five, Magic Johnson, James Harden, Kawhi Leonard, Kevin Garnett, and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar on the bench. All right, we're only going to use 10, uh, 10 players of the sim. And I want to talk about the differences between uh, North American sports while it's simulating. Now, we should go uh, a perfect season here. I will use uh, some fast-forward action in the background. But I want to put this question to you guys, you know. How easy should it be to create an 82-0 hockey team? Out of all the North American sports, I gotta say, I think hockey has the greatest element of randomness to it. I mean, first off, line changes. What other North American sport do you see substitutions mid-game. I mean, basketball, you got to wait for a timeout or a free throw, some sort of stoppage in play. Baseball, it's always a stoppage. Soccer, same thing, substitution. You can make the argument that in football, they make changes while the play clock is running, but from when the ball is snapped to when it's downed, there are no changes. So, you know, that fact that players are changing while the puck is live, that's going to add that element of randomness. And speaking about the puck, puck luck. I mean, every arena, there's different bounces off the boards, off the glass, off the stanchions, off players' skates, sticks, referees, all right? And speaking of refs, the Zebra's making calls that they shouldn't, um, not making calls that they should. When it comes to hockey, I want to put the question to you guys. Is it possible at all to create an 82-0 team in the NHL? My answer is no. I take it back to the Olympics when... Team Canada had an all-star team out there. And in the knockout stages, we went up against either it was Latvia or Belarus, and we beat them 1-0. And it was terrifying because we didn't get that one goal till late in the game. Their goaltender was fantastic. And that's another thing about hockey, goaltending, all right? That's perhaps why we didn't go perfect in the regular season with the Legends crews because you run into hot goaltenders. And it doesn't matter who you have out in the ice, those hot goaltenders are absolutely going to torch you. So, if you can't get a perfect team in hockey without making crazy adjustments, then crazy adjustments is what I'm going to do. I'm not giving up, ladies and gentlemen. If we can go 82-0 here in NBA, I want to go 82-0 in the NHL. So let's get back there and let's get funky with our tactics. Come on now. Okay, so back to NHL, and what we have here is another year one end of season simulation, and I've chosen the St. Louis Blues, so no all-stars were in this league. The reason I'm at the end of the season is I want to use my advanced analytics to try to build a team, to try to win an 82-0 and team. The all-stars just weren't getting it done, and I did best lines. So let's see if Jim Superbman with my advanced analytics can get ourselves a championship 82-0 and team, baby. So first up, we got to find our four centers. And if I'm picking centers, I'm not just going for the best guys in the game. I want a combination of the stats that can help them dominate. So face-offs along with penalty minutes, all right? So a face-off rating along with penalty minutes is what I 
I was looking for. So I'm sorting by faceoffs, and I'm going down the list trying to find guys who don't take a lot of penalty minutes so that uh, maybe that helps out our simulation. So first up, Patrice Bergeron, all right? Only 12 penalty minutes, and we know his faceoff rating is going to be great. So he is signed up as a center. We continue down here. Paul Stashny, all right? I know I, I'm, I'm dipping low, only 84 overall. But like I said, I'm building the team my way, ladies and gentlemen. He's going to be better than the fourth line all-time great that we had. So Stashny's going to be in there. Uh, let's continue to go down the list. 10. No, Derek Ryan, Malkin, Gagne. They need to be something good. I'm not taking on those bums. Uh, I continue down the list. Woo! Tyler Sagan. Yep, and he can shoot as well. 42 goals. I like that. Tyler Sagan, only 10 penalty minutes. And Joe Pavelski, all right? So that's going to be our four centers. Bergey, Stashny, Sagan, Pavelski. Next up, what we want to do is find the shooters, the goal scorers. And you guys know, if you've watched my GM modes, it's all about these shot totals. Now, we want to find a combination of shot totals with, again, penalty minutes that are nice and low. Now, Ovechkin, he takes a lot of penalty minutes. Kucherov, though, only 14. So Kucherov's going to be our first guy. Uh, Sagan, we already got as a center. Phil Kessel, there you go, only 16 penalty minutes. He's in there. All right, continue down the list. Vladimir Tarasenko, only 14 penalty minutes. He's in there. And uh, keep on going down. Let's find somebody with, oh, there it is. Johnny Goudreau, all right, only four penalty minutes. So that's going to be our four shooters. Kuch, Kessel, Tarasenko, and Goudreau. And last but not least, a combination of of everything. I want somebody with a lot of takeaways, all right, but uh, not a lot of penalty minutes. So Ryan O'Reilly, the, the defensive setup for the guy with the face-offs and the shooter. I want the playmaking two-way guy. Too many penalty minutes there right uh, right there for Ryan O'Reilly. So we're going to go down the list. Connor McDavid. All right, so Connor McDavid, 94 overall. 37 penalty minutes, but that's going to help out the simulation. So we're going to pick up Connor. Uh, Jonathan Tavzer, 38 penalty minutes, but we can trust him defensively. I need some penalty killers if we're going to get that 82-0 season, right? Uh, next up, let's just go down the list here. See anybody with some good penalty minutes. A name that pops out at me. Uh, Mark Shifley. Mark Shifley, 36 penalty minutes. I mean, there's some better guys in there. Panarin, but Shifley... We, oh, yeah, that was the other... That, yeah, that was the other reason. Uh, hits as well, right. I wanted to find a guy with takeaways and hits. That's why I bypassed guys like Matthews, uh, Panarin, and Keller. Even though they had less penalty minutes, the hits is something that I want as well to separate the puck from the opposition. So Shifley gets in there, and we're bringing him Alexander Ovechkin. Yes, the 30, uh, 39 penalty minutes, but you're never going to be able to get away with... Uh, somebody who body checks and also doesn't get penalty minutes. So we got our body checkers, we got our face-off takers, and we have our shooters up front. Now we just need the point guys. And what I wanted to do with the point guys is sort by, hang on a second here, sort by points, find two offensive defensemen that don't take penalty minutes, and then four other guys that can play five on five and kill penalties. So the two guys, the offensive defensemen that I went with, I'm sorting by points, and then I'm going all the way down here to hits. We're trying to find guys who don't throw the body too much. Eric Carlson, he's going to be 190 overall. All right, continue down the list. I'll find him. I'll find him. And there he is, Tory Krug. Uh, both Tory Krug and uh, Eric Carlson not taking a lot of penalties. So Krug and Carlson, the two offensive defensemen. And then all the all-around defensemen. Uh, this one, what? how did I sort this again? Was it hits? I think it was hits. Yeah, I think it was hits. But then you don't look at the... Uh, the crappy defenseman. So Victor Hedman was one that I got. Uh, Drew Doughty was another one that I got. Yeah, the, these these defensemen I didn't even really find specifically. I just wanted a bunch of guys. So I'll just tell you the list. Doughty, Burns, Chabot, and Hedman. Each one of these guys hits. Um, don't take that many, many penalty minutes. I mean, some of them are up there. Like Hedman's at like 40. What's Hedman at? Hang on a second. I'll show you guys instead of just talking about it. This is a video after all. Where's Victor Hedman? Victor Hedman, Victor Hedman, Victor Hedman, Victor Hedman. There he is. So Victor Hedman with, uh, 44 penalty minutes. It's going to happen with guys who body check, but I need big studs out there to play 5v5 and the penalty kill. So again, Doughty, Burns, Chabot, and Hedman. And the goaltenders, we're going the Raging Russians, baby. Andre Vasilevsky and Sergei Bob. 
Bobrovsky. So now that you guys have seen the team, let's get to that new season. So here we are, the beginning of year number one once again with our all-time greats new team, the team that I just put together, baby. I've already gone ahead with the line changes. McDavid, Bergeron, and Kucherov. So the takeaway, the faceoff, and the shooter. And uh, don't worry, McDavid can do more than just take away. But that's the way I'm arranging the lines with my advanced analytics. Ovechkin, Sagan, Kessel, Goudreau, Pavelski, Shifley, Tarasenko, Stashny, and Jonathan Taves. On the point, Hedman, Carlson, Doughty, Krug, Chabot, and Burns. I guess Chabot and Burns don't like playing alongside of one another. And goaltenders, Vasilevsky and Sergei Bobrovsky. So clearly a team that is inferior to the all-time greats that I put out there. Um, it's still a great team, don't get me wrong, but the all-time greats were mid-90s on every single line. Offense, defense, and goaltending. Um, now, I went best lines with the all-time greats, and we finished the season, what was it, 63-15-4 for 130 points. So I don't think I'm going to go 82-0, obviously, but uh, can I... Through creating the team myself with the advanced analytics, have a better regular season than a team full of 90 overall players. Well, we're gonna have to do some power of video editing, but before we do, I want to see. Uh, I just want to see the stretch run that we can go on to start the year. Preseason was not friendly to us. Five, two, and oh, come on now, boys! You don't let me down. I'm GM superb, man. I've been doing this for years. Come on, I got a reputation. <laughs> I have to. I have to show. Th oh my God! And the second game of the season, we lose seven to three to the freaking Buffalo Sabers. Phil Kessel, why couldn't you help out? So let's take a look at these Buffalo Sabers. Team. They beat it. They whooped us as well, seven to three. My God. All right, so the Buffalo Sabres with Ryan Johansson, Jack Eichel at 88, Skinner at 85, Ryan Hart, Middlestat, Shiri, v, uh, VC, Gergensen, Sabatka, Akpozo, Rodriguez, and Thomas Vanek. On the blue line, all right, garbage and goaltender, garbage. <laughs> But my original point going back to the NBA game is hockey just a sport that it's impossible to create a perfect team for. It doesn't matter what you try to do, it's actually realistic that EA is giving us these kind of results. I'm kind of on that fence. I don't think hockey you should be able to go 82-0, unlike NBA. You know, NBA, the superstars get the ball more. They get to influence the game more. Hockey, like I said, with all those random bounces and such... How can you create the perfect team? So this is the conundrum I'm dealing with. Is it possible at all? So I want to get to the end of the season. I still have some tricks up my sleeve, ladies and gentlemen. It's not over. It's not over by a long shot. But what we're going to do is use some power of video editing. The all-time greats went 63, 15, and 4 with clearly a superior team. Let's see if through my advanced analytics with the 84 overall Paul Stashney in there and an 87 overall Tory Krug, let's see if I've constructed a team that at least can be competitive with those guys. So power of video editing, and I will fast forward to make sure that you guys don't accuse me of backing out, saving, and reload. No way, no how. Let's go. From 63, 15, and 4 to 58, 18, and 6. So the team that I put on the ice was not as good as the uh, as the all-star team or the all-time greats. I was kind of there, but nope, just did not work. I wonder, yeah, let me go into here and take a look at some of these stats. I wonder if the lines just didn't work well with one another. I wonder, was anyone a minus player? Yeah, Johnny Goudreau was only a plus five in this. What the heck? Uh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me just sort by forwards. Uh, plus five. Yeah, so maybe, yeah, Paul Stashney only a six. So maybe that fourth line with Paul Stashney wasn't getting it done. Uh, defenseman. There you go. So you can see Carlson and Krug see their penalty minutes in comparison to Doughty, Hedman, Burns, and Chabot. That's what I was going for. And goaltenders, yeah, they had a good season. It's just the sport of hockey, right? It's just impossible. Like, so much can happen in a single game. And you know what? We are going up against other NHL superstars right here. So... That, you know what? That has given me an idea. If we are going to try to get the 82-0 regular season record, perhaps it's not about the team that I construct. Perhaps it's all about the teams I'm going up against. Oh man, I got some work ahead of me. Power of freaking editing, boys. I will be back in uh, in quite a bit. Oh my god. Oh my god, I hate my life. Oh, I hate my life. Oh my god. I just spent... I just spent the last two hours... Editing every fucking team in the NHL. And now I get into franchise mode and it's all for... Oh my god. I hate my life. I just spent two... Oh, I just spent two hours doing this. Oh my god. Hang on a second. Few lines. 
Boys, I went through every single NHL team and put a bunch of fucking goofs on their roster, all right? Every single team. I had to take their players from their damn roster and trade them to the SHL, to some Liga, to some international team. The whole idea I had was that same all-star group that I put together up against a bunch of CHL players. But EA doesn't allow you to put the CHL or any SHL or Sim Liga team into franchise mode. Only a bunch of all-stars. So I had to manually do it myself. 30 teams, all right, 35 roster positions for each team. It took me hours of trying to make a good video here. It's probably going to get fucking demonetized now because I'm pissed. So, okay. You guys don't even know why I'm pissed just yet. So here it is, right? I went through every single fucking team and I made it. I, I did what I wanted to do. I have my team ready to go. I'll go to edit lines and I'll show you. I still have the all-time greats. I haven't edited the lines just yet. All right, but it doesn't matter because that was supposed to come next. But here's the problem. I go to propose trade. Hang on a second because here's where I first wanted to take a look. I go to propose trade Anaheim Ducks and it showed them having nobody. Why is Ryan Getzloff still on the end? The, the I'm Ducks. Why is he in the AHL? Same thing with Ricard Raquel, Adam Henry, Cam Fowler. Why are they all in the AHL? I traded them to the Sim Liga and shit. So you're telling me they're just going to call them back up? And on top of that, uh, a bunch of guys that I traded away, now they're in fucking free agency. Austin Matthews, Pedersen, Larkin, Besser, Dubois. So, 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 if I... If I simulate like a week in preseason, hang on a second. This can't be. This can't be. I just I just spent two hours for nothing. There's no way. So if I go like if I go like a week in preseason, right? Because all, all all the free agents they're only asking for like a one year four million dollar deal, and and because I put a bunch of shivers on the team, they don't have any salary cap issues. I'm pretty sure I don't even have salary cap on. If I go back to league and I go to message center and I go to signings. Kutkin Yemi, Austin Matthews to New York, <laughs> Spencer the Cop to Ottawa. It's gonna be the exact same fucking thing! Oh! <laughs> two hours for nothing! Oh, two hours for nothing. <laughs> I gotta fix it. No, I'm not giving up. I gotta fix it. I gotta fix it! Man, I really should have thought this fully through before I started making the video. I can't believe it. I just spent another hour going through the rosters and, and trying to make sure that every team in the NHL had a 35-man roster with five goaltenders so that they would have no ability to sign free agents. It took forever. Getting the players, there's no free agency list anymore except for the players that make it free agents even though I moved them to another team. I don't know what the hell that is. But finding goaltenders to fill out every squad with five of them, that took forever because every team needs to have at least two goalies. So I literally went through every fucking team in the game trying to find extra goalies. But uh, some good news, all right? Proposed trade. I still don't know why some guys go to the AHL. No clue whatsoever. But take a look at the right side of the screen. Contracts, 50 out of 50, all right? Arizona, 47 out of 50. I don't know what that is. 50 out of 50, 50 out of 50, 50 out of 50, 50 out of 50, 50, 50, 50. 50. <laughs> you get it, right? There's some 49s in there, some 47s. But every team essentially has a full roster, which means that they cannot acquire the free agents that are available in free agency. So Stamkos, Marchand, Kopitar, O'Reilly. There's not going to be any room for them in year number one to acquire these players. So I fucking just went through three hours for no reason. This video is probably going to get demonetized. Less than a thousand likes. It's just a big fucking waste of my time. Like I said, kids, measure twice, cut once, alright? You measure once, you think like an idiot, you're going to be cutting twice. And that's what I'm doing right now. I didn't think this fully through and look at me. We're Working like a moron for no reason. So, again, around the NHL, I'll just show you the lineups. Alright? It, it, it's god-awful. Just put it like that. The Anaheim Ducks 
a, a bunch of hacks, Arizona Coyotes, a bunch of plugs. But unfortunately, there are still some players down there in the AHL um, that I just I can't figure out why. I, I don't know. Like the uh, hang on a second, let me just go back there one more time. Already brought up this screen, but I'm going crazy. Ryan Getzlaff is still on the uh, the Anaheim Ducks. He's in the AHL, but they'll bring him up for the regular season. Absolutely. Jalmerson, Goligoski, all right, Krejci, but you can see the Boston Bruins. They really don't have much. So I, I, I think I did the best that I could to strip these teams of NHL caliber talent. A few teams still have a, a few decent players, and uh, like the Arizona Coyotes are going to be able to sign like three guys. But um, I mean, this is the, the this is the biggest. Uh, uh, a difference in overall skill that I could ever make in this game. Oh, you know what? Fudge. I probably should have brought back the all-time greats as my team. Whatever. Whatever. I'm using the lineups that I created. I'm not doing it again. I am not doing it again. I am not doing it again. You guys are not going to peer pressure me into doing it again. All right. So I'll show you the lines once again. The exact same setup as was before. McDavid, Bergeron, Krejci, Kessel, Sagan, Ovechkin, Shifley, Pavelski, Tarasenko, Taves, Stashny, and Goudreau. And by the way... Their chemistries are different than the last time I loaded this up, although the lines are exactly the same. Are you telling me that because the coaches get randomized every time you start up a new franchise mode, you could have the exact same team out there, but the chemistries will be different because of the coaches? So in essence, if you want to start up a franchise mode and get a really good coach, all you got to do is start it up. Oh, I don't like this guy. Quit out. Start it up. Oh, I don't like this guy. Quit out. Start it up. Oh, there's a coach that I like and start. That's ridiculous. It's ridiculous, EA Sports. Why are we going backwards? Oh, don't start the rant. Don't start the rant with EA Sports. All right, just get the video done. We've been here for fucking like four hours now. Oh, it's going to be a crap video as well. Oh my god, it's useless. I should have just done like a shootout, be a pro, and GM in the time that I fucking did this. Oh! Alright, so, simulate to the end of the season. 63-15-4 uh, was the all-time greats against uh, the full NHL. Uh, the last sim with my all-star team, what was it, uh, 59 or uh, it was something, 122 points. I wasn't as good as the all-time greats, put it like that. But now, this is, you would never be able to create a better team than what I have right now. And I'm not talking about the team that I have, I'm talking about the difference in overall. From we lose the first fucking game to the Canucks! To the bullshit EA Sports Canucks! Oh my god! <laughs> Why did I do this? The Canucks. The, 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 the shitty Canucks view lines. Alright. Now I'm starting to get pissed off with EA Sports' sim engine. I was beginning to think, you know, well, hockey's a hard sport to go 82-0 and on. Are you? They got Braden Point. Alright, they got Braden Point. Bar Point, Barchese, and Erickson, their first line. Boucher, Gravich, Godolbin, Bailey, Swemi. What? How the fuck did this team beat my team? Edler as their goal was who's their goalie? Who? Oh, for fuck's sake! All right, EA Sports. I, I was giving you the benefit of the doubt earlier on when I was saying things like hockey is not the kind of sport where you can go 82 and 0. But how did I lose in a shootout? I, I shouldn't even be going overtime. All right, how am I losing with the team that I have against the Vancouver Canucks? Unreal, unreal. I'm done. No, you're done. No, you're done. You're done. Don't no more. No more. Oh, one more. One more. Oh my god. I hate myself. I have one more trick up my sleeve. One more. Let's go. <laughs> This is it. This is my last attempt. I have created three players that I'm going to add to my all-time all-stars. I was thinking about creating a whole team of 99 overall players, but I'm not putting my ass here for another two hours. I'll leave that up to another YouTuber who wants to do it, all right? Because I ain't going 82-0. I don't think it's a possibility. I go 0-0-1 against the Vancouver Canuck team with nobody. All right, so we have our three 99 overall players. First up, the goaltender. Um, I think that this will be a big increase from Vasilev. Skin Bobrovsky. We have Mike Oxmall, 99 overall. Next up, we have the center grinder. I'm going to have this guy as the first line penalty killer. He's going to replace Paul Stashney. Ben Dover, 99 overall center grinder. And then we have the uh, center sniper. And we all know that creative players um, in this game, when they're snipers, man, they get a lot of goals. So Jack Goff at 99 overall as your center sniper. These three players are the only three players on the free agency list. I'm transferring them to my all-time all all-stars. Look at the free agency list. Look at it! There's no one on it. That's me going through every free agent to fill up my team or my uh, my NHL roster. Just so every team would have 50 out of 50 with five goaltenders. I better get to at least 70 wins in this fucking video. Let's go. Let's go.
So here it is, last attempt, last attempt, ladies and gentlemen, I am not putting forth another one, this is it. We have our three created players, Goff is in there, first line center, Dover is in there, fourth line center as the uh, defensive specialist, Oxmall is in there as the goaltender, special teams, power play, Goff is in there, and uh, Dover is, oh, you know, I'll put Dover right there, he's got that 99 face off, why not? Uh, again, the chemistry is all over the place, I guess Taves and Goudreau don't like playing with a 99 overall best of all time player but that's okay uh he's only a 97 he's he's still okay right he can still get it done so this is the new look team we are in the same rosters as before i'm hoping let me just go back to view lines around the nhl i just want to make sure that i haven't loaded up the wrong one yeah the anaheim ducks look like garbage we'll go the other way this time yeah garbage 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 got freaking vancouver canucks man i can't believe that happens all right so that is all taken care of also. And let me just go back to proposed trade. Let me make sure it's still like the 50 out of 50 for everyone. Yeah, 50 out of 50, 50 out of 50. There's some 49s in there, but still. Even if they could sign three players, we should still have every team covered and then some. And then some. So here it is, ladies and gentlemen. Back to the calendar. The same setup as before. Um, I still remember the all-star greats went 65 13 and 4, 14 and 5, oh, 15 and 4, yeah, 63, 15 and 4, I think, they, yeah, 63, 15 and 4, I think that's what they went, you know what, it's been so long now, it was hours ago at this point, I should have looked at it before I started up the sim, now, let's see if we can get to a 70 win season, I don't see an 82 and 0 season happening, um, even though we added 399 overall players, the fact that we lost in a shootout in the very first game of the season against the Vancouver Canucks, the last sim, tells me that there is an element of randomness to this sim engine that you just cannot compensate for. Doesn't matter what kind of team that you put together, you are not going to have a perfect regular season. And I was trying to give EA the benefit of the doubt by, by giving you guys examples of why hockey is a random sport, but there it is. There it is, the loss against the Boston Bruins in a shootout. Now, it's not a loss in regulation. We could also take it to getting beat in regulation. The shootout is a, a, a like not a, not a skills competition, but it's, you know, it's not a hockey game. I guess it is a skills competition. But, uh, like, the fact that we're getting three 20-minute periods and we're not getting a lead, that's crazy. So, view lines. Let's see if the Boston Bruins have signed anyone to at least make that team uh, uh, respectable. So, they got Krejci. Krejci, Bjork, Gaunts. Carey, Backus, uh, Cleric. Morin, Frederick, and Forsback. Oh, Forsback, and Carlson's probably killing it. Oh, minus three. Never mind. Shenishin, Fitzgerald, Kosmachuk. Uh, ooh, Kosmachuk? Yeah, Kosmachuk, Vakanen, Petrovic, Percy. Oh my God, how did this team beat us? Goaltenders, Yaroslav Halak, 83 overall goaltender. That's the only thing I can think of is goaltending. Because if you run into a hot goalie who's just saying, no, you ain't beating me tonight, or only lets in one or two and then just shuts the door after that, that's one example of how hockey, um, that's one example of how in hockey the... The worst team can beat the better team, but oh my goodness gracious. That last one against the Vancouver Canucks was tough. But uh, if we can if we continue like this, we might get that 70 win season. So, uh we're not going to go 82 and 0. I guess the next logical step would be to create an entire team full of 99 overall players, but I am not doing that, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said, I've been here for 4 or 5 hours now. Um this video is not even going to get that much attention because it's a GM mode video. And uh, like I said, just a big waste of time. Big freaking waste of time. Oh, but maybe one of you guys could do it. Um, you can't just post a, a screenshot of you going 82 and 0 on Twitter or on your YouTube channel. You got to show the video of the entire simulation. You can fast forward it. That's fine. But I'm only going to believe a full on a full season simulation where you go 82 and 0. And uh, you're gonna have to also edit the rosters of every other team. There it is. The Vancouver Canucks again the Canucks beat us in regulation oh my god the Canucks have our number they're 11 20 and 2 and they decided that we're the team that they're gonna play against unreal man unreal oh view lines the Canucks again what do they have over there in Vancouver what are they drinking what's in their Gatorade hang on a sec uh, the Vancouver Canucks, Barchese. Okay, so they did pick up Drysidle. There's something at least. He might have just gone off that night, you know? Uh, <laughs> Drysidle. Drysidle was enough with three. Like uh, It might have been my backup in the net as well, but that is rough stuff. 
So in summary, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to continue the simulation here. I want to get to the end of the year just see some of the stats. But in summary, yeah, it appears as if, I don't know if it's um, a conscious decision on EA Sports' part, but it is, I'm going to say it, it is impossible to get an 82-0 season. Uh, you know, I take that back. It is not impossible, I think, if you did it over and over and over and over again with a 99 overall team um, against the same teams that I'm going up against. I think you could eventually... You know, with a matter of time, you'd eventually find that sim where everything goes according to plan. But uh, it is not something that you could do normally in franchise mode. You would never be able to create an 82-win team in franchise mode through legit trades, through legit free agent signings, through legit draft picks. It's just not in the cards. This is a completely, completely unrealistic league where I have all the best players, three best-of-all-time players, 99 overall, and every other team in the NHL is riddled with a mid-70 overall players on their blue line up front between the pipes um there's a few play there's a few teams that uh, did sign some free agents but still man there is no excuse for this so one regulation loss on the year 55 one and two it looks like we're gonna beat the record that I set with the uh, the all-stars you know what I wish I wish I could um, upload the roster that I've created so that you guys could download it and try it yourself because if you guys want to replicate what I've done you literally have to go through every single NHL team take off all their players who are in the 90s 80s mid high, high 70s all right and replace them with guys um, who are old enough to play in the NHL. That's the problem. You can't bring in, like, OHL players who are too young to play in the NHL. Um, and you have to make sure that you fill out every position on every NHL team with 35 players, 5 goaltenders. And you got to leave each team with 2 goalies and 18 skaters. So, it literally, I, I had to go through every team. And I almost didn't make it. The goaltenders were impossible to find. Because 30 times 5, that's a crap ton of goalies. There's another regulation loss to the Tampa Bay Lightning right there at the end of the season. 75, 2, and 2. Yeah, that's about, that's about fair. That's about fair. All right, so there it is, ladies and gents. That's the best record that I could put together. 78 wins, 2 losses, and 2 regulation losses. But I had to completely, completely reshape the NHL to do it. Let's take a look at some of our individual stats. Jack Goff with 117 points on the year. He certainly uh, got his contract worth. Uh, hang on a second here. Let me just sort by forwards. Was anyone a negative? Plus 77 for Goff. Good job. Oh, they're all pluses. They're all pluses. Uh, ben Dover in there with, uh, he was a grinder, 61 points, 54 uh, plus. Oh my god, they killed it. Defenseman, uh, 104. Ha! <laughs> plus 104 for Eric Carlson. My goodness. And goaltenders, Mike Oxmall, a 917 save percentage. I mean, 63 and 1. He was unstoppable. It was Andre Vat. You see, you know what? That might also be something I should have thought of. Uh, I should have gotten two goalies at 99 overall. So there's still some flexibility if you guys want to attempt to try to get the 82 and 0 win season. Uh, but you have to do like four or five hours of work beforehand. So that's it, ladies and gents. Show some love. Love for my for my <laughs> hard labor in this. Oh, and honestly, if you're ever gonna make a video, think it out. Think it out. I did not. I thought this would be like 30 minutes to an hour. Freaking six hours later, and I still have to edit it, render it, and upload it. Oh, no live stream tonight. So thanks again, ladies and gentlemen. The uh, Jack Agoff's uh, uh, what's it called? All time All Star great team with a record of 78 two and two. Can you beat it? Show me, boys. Uh, take it easy, and I'll see you guys next time. Hey, guys. Johnny here, and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like, hit that subscribe button, and make sure notifications are on so you don't miss out on any new content. We also live stream on Twitch where I take days off my life for your entertainment. Sonny Gray, get out of it. You stupid pieces of s***. I should have gone with Jose for Nandez. Oh, my God. God, pitching change. Fernandez, get your ass in there. Oh, I swear to God, baseball God just decided to all over me. Grand slam. Oh, yeah. Make me miss the playoffs with a first ranked team. Year two, 30 games above 500. No divisional win. Trip to the wild card. First inning.